In this presentation, we will find out form factor and ripple factor of full wave rectifier. Form factor gives the information about the waveform and it is equal to form factor is equal to ratio of RMS load voltage VRMS to the average load voltage V average or we can also calculate form factor like this IRMS divided by I average. We already know VRMS is equal to VRMS is equal to VM divided by root 2 and average voltage or DC voltage is equal to twice of VM divided by pi. So form factor form factor is equal to VM divided by root 2 divided by twice of VM divided by pi. This VM and this VM will cancel out and we have pi divided by 2 root 2. When you solve this you will have 1.11 as the value of form factor for full wave rectifier. Now we will calculate the ripple factor. Ripple factor is very important parameter for rectifier circuit. Ripple factor represents the percentage of AC component in the rectified output. We are converting AC to DC using rectifiers and in the rectified output, in the DC output, we don't want any AC component. So ideally AC component must be equal to zero and this implies the ripple factor gamma is the representation for the ripple factor is also equal to zero. I have already explained these things in half wave rectifier lecture. Definition of ripple factor, significance of ripple factor and how to obtain ripple factor. If you don't know these things you may watch that lecture. Ripple factor, ripple factor is equal to under root, under root form factor, form factor square minus one and percentage ripple factor percentage ripple factor is equal to under root form factor square minus 1 multiplied by 100 form factor is equal to 1.11 so percentage ripple factor is equal to under root 1.11 square minus 1 multiplied by 100 when you solve this you will have 48.1 percent as the ripple factor so in the rectified output we have 48.1 percent of AC component AC component and in case of half wave rectifier in case of half wave rectifier ripple factor was equal to 121 percent so we have reduced percentage of AC component in case of full wave rectifier you can see we have 48.1 percent and in this case we have 121 percent so we have reduced the AC component by 73 percent using the full wave rectifier so this is definitely one of the biggest advantages of the full wave rectifier we have better rectified output in the next lecture i will find out efficiency for full wave rectifier and we will also calculate peak inverse voltage i will end this lecture here see you in the next one